I am very committed and always have been. It's the way I have viewed my Bible. That when I get up in the morning to read my Bible, I expect it to answer for me the issues I'm going to confront today. Jack Hibbs, talking real life and real faith. My Bible deals with politics, it deals with worldviews, it deals with economics, my Bible deals with relationships, my Bible deals with the saved and the unsaved. I was going to hang from my hair for an eternity in hellfire for taking my head cover off. I hadn't met Jesus yet, but I was leaving as long. Is getting the vaccine, according to the Bible, receiving the mark of the beast? The vaccine has nothing to do with forehead or your right hand necessarily. Fear, fear, who? God will never use fear. Right. This is an important right. thing. Fear is a tool of the enemy, always. Is socialism bad? Does life begin at conception? Can a man become a woman and still enter heaven? We believe that America is exceptional, not for arrogant reasons. What does separation of church and state really mean? What happens when we lose our freedom of speech, religion, and our liberty? There will be those who want to undo this greatness. They want to take down this nation that was founded in such an exceptional way. To have a biblical worldview is to see everything in life through a biblical worldview lens. Meaning, when I hear about this on the news, if I see a tsunami in Indonesia, I look at that through a biblical worldview. What does the Bible say about that? We don't have to fall victim to anybody's opinion. We take our view and we see it through a biblical worldview lens. Follow Jack Weekly on Jack Hibbs Podcast by hitting subscribe wherever you listen to your podcasts. Hey.